Now anytime I'm dealing with two samples, I'm always going to be looking at the difference. And this survey is actually super interesting for that reason. If you haven't already, make sure you pause the video, read through it, and then also I've got the study cited down below. They look at more groups than just Hispanic and non-Hispanic, so it might be something interesting to check out. That being said, we should probably get started with it, so first step is always to go ahead and to list. The first thing I need to do when I go to list is to go ahead and decide what I want sample 1 to be and what I want sample 2 to be. It doesn't matter which you do. I'm always going to choose sample 1 to be the one with the higher percentage, so that when I subtract them, I get a positive number. So when I look through this, I have white, non-Hispanic police officers, 36%. So I'm gonna go ahead and make them sample one. So I'll say this is white, non-Hispanic. I'm gonna write that for myself, and then over here I'll write sample two is Hispanic. And I'm doing that once again so I can just keep track of it. Okay, I'll go ahead and make the list now. So P1 hat is going to be 0 0.36. 36% of them had struggled or fought with the suspect. N1 is the number of them. There are 78 of them. Okay, for Hispanic, I have P2 hat is equal to 0 0.33. 33% had physically struggled or fought. And then N2 will be 65. Next step I need to do is go ahead and subtract them to find my difference. And if I take 0 0.36 minus 0 0.33, I get 0 0.03 which tells me, as of right now, there looks like there's a 3% difference between the two groups. Keep in mind, I didn't survey all non-Hispanic officers and all Hispanic officers, so the actual difference is probably not 3%, which is why we're running our confidence interval. Because I want a 95% confidence interval, Z will be 1.96. Step two, I'm gonna go ahead and do my calculation. My calculation is gonna be SE, SE has that ginormous formula, P1 hat, 1 minus P1 hat, N1 plus P2 hat, 1 minus P2 hat, all over N2. And all I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and plug these in here. So I'll have 0 0.36, and then I would take 1 minus 0 0.36. If I take 1 minus 0 0.36, that will give me 0.64. And I'm going to go ahead and simplify that right there. Then N1 will be 78. Same here, I'll have 0.33. And if I take one minus 0.33, I'll get 0.67, and I'll have that all over 65. It's important when you do these to simplify as much as possible before you plug into your calculator. That'll reduce your risk of doing something really, really wrong. So next thing we need to do is go ahead and plug it in. And when we do this, we're gonna get an SE of about 0.0797. I want you to notice that this SE is really big. This is telling us that our estimated standard deviation is almost 8%, which is pretty large, especially since our actual difference was only 3%. This large SE is coming from the fact that we have really, really small sample sizes. If we wanted to get a better estimate, a more precise estimate, we need to increase the sample size. Now that we've got SE, the next thing we need to do is go ahead and put together our interval. This will be taking the difference, Adding and subtracting Z times SE, or 0.03 plus and minus 1.96 times 0 0.0797. When we do this, our numbers are going to look a little bit funky. I get negative 0.1262 and positive 0.1862. Now, at its very base, this is telling us that the difference in the percentage of Hispanic versus non-Hispanic officers who struggle or fight with suspects is somewhere between negative 12 and 18 percent. Now if you think about that, if I might be negative 12 and I might be 18, that means for all I know I might actually be zero. A confidence interval that crosses zero means there may be no difference. And it tells us this because this is the confidence interval for the difference. I took P1 hat minus P2 hat. It was 3%. I ran this to figure out, well, what is the actual difference between all Hispanic and all non-Hispanic officers? I found the difference might be negative 12. It might be 18. That means, for all I know, there could be absolutely no difference between these two populations. We'll talk about stating in the next video. 